Hello, hello. Welcome to the Airport Safety Channel. My name is Isaac Otu, your regular host. The topic for today is width of taxiways. Our main reference is Annex 14, Volume 1, Aerodromes, 9th edition, and other CAA and airport documentations. Previously, we looked at taxiways in general and learned about the various names associated to the various types of taxiways in the aerodrome. If you have not watched that video, kindly click on the link above to watch it. So, what is the definition of taxiway width? The width of a taxiway includes the total span of pavement available between the edges of the pavement identified for normal aircraft taxiing activities. How do we determine this span of pavement, which is also the width of the taxiway? Now, the width is determined by projecting that when the cockpit of the aircraft remains aligned with the taxiway centerline markings, there will be sufficient clearance distances between the outer main wheel of the aircraft and the edge of the taxiway. And these clearance distances are predetermined by IQ. The minimum values are predetermined by IQ in the Annex 14. Therefore, the clearance distance and the outer main gear wheel span are the critical components that are factored into the design of taxiways. If you don't understand what the outer main gear wheel span is, kindly click on the link above and watch the previous video on that lesson. The clearance distance, which is a safety margin, is added to the width of the outer main gear wheel span to obtain the minimum width of the taxiway. The outer main gear wheel span is different for each category of aircraft. Therefore, if you have an aircraft with outer main gear wheel span of less than 4.5 meters, you are going to have a clearance of 1.5 meter on straight portions of the taxiway. If it is above 4.5 meter but less than 6 meters, then the clearance distance will be 2.25 meters. It is 3 meters when the outer main gear wheel span is less than 9 meters or 4 meters when the outer main gear wheel span is above 9 meters but less than 50 meters. And these are all for straight portions. But for curved portions, you are likely to have 4 meters for areas where the wheel base of the aircraft is greater than 18 meters and the outer main gear wheel span is above 6 meters but including 9 meters. These values are applied on each side of the outer main gear wheel span to obtain the minimum width of the taxiway. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed already. Click also on the bell to receive notification on new videos. Like and share with friends and colleagues. Okay, so by putting the outer main gear wheel span width and the required clearance distance together, we are able to obtain the minimum width of taxiways on straight portions. Therefore, for an aircraft which has outer main gear wheel span of less than 4.5 meters and clearance distance of 1.5 meter on each side of the outer main gear wheel span, it will have or require a minimum taxiway width of 7.5 meters. Now this goes up all the way to 23 meters for an aircraft which has outer main gear wheel span 
greater than 9 meter but not including 15 meters it is easy to hear people say that the biggest width of taxiways are 23 meters but this depends on the size of aircraft that is operating in your aerodrome the values mentioned thank you for watching post your comments and questions subscribe and click the bell share with one and all